Good day, I'm Vasily and today we are going to talk about Punta Cana and we are going to create a list with travel tips. So let's talk about the suggestions for the first trip to Punta Cana. First of all, make sure you booked uh, all activities you want to have, all excursions and everything. Book everything up front. That's a smart thing to do because like last moment is nothing good. In the Dominican Republic, nothing works. So just you need to make sure that you the, the payment is on time, everything is scheduled and there is availability for this specific activity, specific excursion. So that's very important. Do not rent a car uh, from a car rental agency without a license. Well, you can save a lot of money and time just renting the car from some international big provider. So make sure if you're renting a car, um, the car has full insurance. In addition to it, I would strongly do not recommend you to drive if you go into Punta Cana first, first time. So, well, local drivers are driving differently and it's completely different from everybody driving uh, style like in somewhere in the United States, Canada or Europe. So, and especially motorcycles, sometimes they drive like crazy. So you'd better be careful and I would strongly recommend you just go with excursions. You're gonna see much more that you are going to drive on your own. Make two photocopies of each ID that you have, just in case put um, the photocopies of your IDs with your phone number just in case in every single bag you have. Uh, th this way it's gonna be easier to identify your bags just in case. It's a smart tip, it helped me a lot already. Uh, you're probably thinking that I'm so smart. Uh, basically no, smart people taught me this simple trick and it's very, very useful. Do not drink tap water. Yes, you definitely need just drink bottled water and make sure that you are not drinking tap water. We are providing uh, bottled water free of charge in all our villas and all our apartments. Be very careful with fruits and veggies. Just you need to wash everything and peel everything to make sure it's clean. So stay away from any kind of small stores, uh, fruit stands, um, and, or at least make sure they are washing their fruits and veggies uh, properly with good water. Just be aware about public transportation. Do not use public transportation because it's difficult. You know, like locals are traveling sometimes like uh, bananas inside of the truck and it's very, very uncomfortable. So make sure that you are not using public transportation. In some rare cases, maybe you can travel from Punta Cana to, the, to Santo Domingo by bus, but I would strongly not recommend you to do so. So use taxi, transportation companies, Uber, wherever, but please avoid any kind of uh, public transportation because it's difficult. Avoid moto taxi. Well, the security level, in my opinion, close to zero. So basically the motorcycle driver are famous here because they are like, like crazy, the most craziest drivers ever. In addition to it, they are driving you without a, a helmet. So it's total, it's a huge risk. So please avoid any kind of motorcycle rides, motorcycle taxis. It's just not safe. If you go into a flea market, feel free to negotiate. Dominicans offer 
products and services at elevated prices so feel free to negotiate especially if you go into a local flea market and you want to buy some souvenirs some small things uh, presents so you can negotiate on those kind of small flea markets and make sure you are buying everything from licensed operators because some they have something at stake they have something to lose they have license they have responsibility they have medical insurance well guess what if you're going with somebody uh without a license you are on your own in case something ha happen well no insurance no responsibility the the company will just disappear because they have nothing to lose no reputation no previous experience uh, and in case something goes wrong they don't really care If you need to do a COVID test and you are curious about how it's going to be, what is the process, click the, this link so you are going to watch the video, the full process with the COVID test and explanations. What are fun activities in the Dominican Republic in Punta Cana? Well, we have plenty of excursions, plenty of experiences. So if you're going to the Dominican Republic, I would strongly recommend you to go to Saona Island and to go to Catalina Island and go to Samana Peninsula. Saona Island, it's a beautiful island with white sands, palms, and it looks like paradise. You can see starfish, um, there and you can go to the natural swimming pool it's amazing right with the speedboat and catamaran i would strongly recommend you to go to sauna island especially if you go in the first time i've been there more than nine times and every time my family goes to the dominican republic or my friends i'm going with them and we're returning always satisfied and full of with emotions Samana Island is very famous because of the whales watching in famous El Limon waterfall in Bacardi Island. I would strongly recommend you to go to Samana Peninsula and I would strongly recommend you to go to Catalina Island in case you love snorkeling and scuba diving. You can check the full list of activities and excursions on our website and you will find the link at the video description. What is the meaning of Punta Cana? Cana is a name of specific palm tree that we were using for the rooftop. So there are many such trees in area of Punta Cana so the, the, in the Dominican Republic so Punta Cana is literally translated as like white point however it actually means palm leaves so in the construction of the rooftops on in the Dominican Republic in this specific town What can tourists do or see in Punta Cana? First of all, Punta Cana, Bavar is the best beach ever. So I would strongly recommend you to wake up early in the morning and just walk to the horizon. So it's safe and secure. Just be aware when the hotel line, the last hotel line ends, this area is already not safe. Everywhere where you will find armed uh, people, security, that's good that's a good sign so you are safe and secure so just walk uh, further uh, and go back safe to the safe area make sure you enjoy this walk and this stroll so and it's it's amazing experience especially when you're doing like early in the morning with your family or with your friends i would strongly recommend uh, to do so
Punta Cana has a lot of bars and restaurants. There are plenty of different restaurants, uh, Dominican restaurants, Italian, uh, classical American food. So burgers, pasta, whatever, whatever you want to have, you have like everything in Punta Cana in Bavaro in Dominican Republic. Let's say in Los Corrales area, we have like at least seven restaurants that are operating all the time. So I would strongly recommend you to go and visit restaurants. One of the best recommendations also is to visit downtown and just walk around. It's nearby to Cocobongo Disco Club and um, it's, it's, uh, it has amazing area. So you just walk around, you can see different uh, attractions. There are plenty of restaurants over there in the area. So it's nearby to San Juan and Jomba supermarkets. One of the greatest thing to do also, you can visit Blue Mall Punta Cana. They have a lot of uh, nice restaurants and there are specific area in Punta Cana, nearby to the Punta Cana airport with a lot of uh, cafe cafeterias and restaurants. It's an um, amazing area. If you have time, if you go into the airport, you can even walk from there to the airport. So you can stop there, you can eat something. The food is great and the environment is also amazing. I would strongly recommend you to visit this specific place in Punta Cana with restaurants. If you go into Punta Cana, book a restaurant somewhere in Capcana. Visit this lovely uh, Punta Cana Marina, Capcana Marina, and it has amazing views and you will enjoy just walking around the area. So book a restaurant, you can get a QR code to get the access in the area and just go there. It's lovely, the views are amazing, you can make great photos discover 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 the new areas especially the beaches so they are beautiful gorgeous let's say go to the macau beach again it's picturesque you can make photos it's amazing it's lovely you will remember this forever so go to macau beach uh, playa blanca uvero alto go and discover it and it's worth it What are the best hotels in Punta Cana? Well, I consider the best hotels great big hotels like Bavaro, Palace, Iberostar, Hard Rock, Melia and other great hotels, uh, hotel chains. They are all big, they have a lot of entertainment inside and you definitely need to try and check special rates, special deals at our website. And I would strongly recommend you to have different experience with villas and apartments. You can rent a private villa or a great apartment with ocean view and we can arrange maid and chef during this, your stay and book everything, whatever you feel comfortable, any kind of excursions and adventures. Just contact our representative at our website, everythingpuntacana.com. So, and we will help you to organize your schedule day by day. So you just need to go, enjoy, relax, and return home happy and satisfied. <laughs>